Good morning, visitors. Just a quick vessel schedule update. The American Mariner will be departing in about 15 minutes. And in just a moment, the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge will lift to its full height of 135 feet to make way for the American Mariner. Good morning, visitors. The vessel that you see departing is the American Mariner. The American Mariner was built in 1980 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 730 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She's powered by two 3,500 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 13 knots or about 15 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a 1,000 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The American Mariner has 24 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet, and she has a maximum carrying capacity of 37,300 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. If you see any crew on deck, give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. The American Mariner is currently owned and operated <laughs> Too short that you just heard is known as the captain's salute. The vessel initiates the greeting with one long blast followed by two short and the bridge responds with the same thing. The American Mariner is currently leaving today with a load of wheat and they're now on their way to Buffalo, New York. Once again, if you see, my, if you see any crew on deck, give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. The American Mariner is currently owned by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York, and she's operated under charter by Grand River Navigation of Traverse City, Michigan. The American Mariner was the ninth of ten vessels built for the American Steamship Company under the Merchant Marine Act of 1970. This act allowed U.S. fleets to modernize their fleets with government financing. The American Mariner mostly transports different cargoes from across the lakes, from iron ore pellets to coal, grain, and limestone. In recent years, she has regularly loaded grain here in Duluth Superior for Buffalo, New York, which is exactly what she's doing today, le leaving with a load of wheat and going to Buffalo, New York. Once again, that was the American Mariner. Once again, that was the American Mariner, built in 1980 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company. She measures 730 feet in length, and she's leaving today with a load of wheat, and she's now on her way to Buffalo, New York. That trip will take about two and a half to three days to get there.